Well, I've opened the Audio Meter LabVIEW project. Let's take a look at the Audio Meter itself. This is a VI that runs on the desktop computer and uh, establishes a connection and then control over a VI operating on the FPGA target. Let's take a quick look at what's inside this VI. All right, everything begins back here where I'm reading a wave audio file. And it's handled with the sound file read VI. I'm extracting the left or monaural channel and then pulling off the samples as an array or a 1D array of, of samples. Ultimately then, this is converted into a 2D array of audio frames where each frame is 100 milliseconds in size. Here I'm establishing the connection to the FPGA target itself. This downloads the bit file onto the FPGA target and opens the connection. Here I'm setting up the sound card to match the sample rate that was extracted from the, the WAV file and get things ready for the real-time loop. Inside the loop itself, on each frame, I make a measurement that's essentially like a decibels type measurement, convert that into a 3-bit numerical value, and send that down to the FPGA target. I then take the audio frame, convert it back to waveform data type, and then send that out to the audio sound card. And so on a frame-by-frame -frame basis, this real-time loop causes values to go down for display on the FPGA target, that is then time synchronized to the audio. At any time, you're welcome to hit the stop button, at which time the sound card is shut down and the FPGA uh, target is stopped. That's it.